It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I, I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, I... I just... It's bad timing, I, I know. It's terrible timing. I, I'm sorry. It, this is so no, stupid, no, stop. I'm sorry. No, please, don't, don't apologize. I, I just need time to think about this. Like, you know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up, over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait, we have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. This is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? 
Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. <laughs> no shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? Alex, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. You weren't? Julia, what does that mean? I know I should have a better answer for you, but that's just how I feel. Julia, I don't know what that means. I, I was freaked out by the plane, okay? I fucked up. I should have said yes. I wish I would have said yes. Just, can you ask me again? Another time, please? A do-over? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean to ruin your big moment. It's okay, really. How about I make it up to you? In your bathing suit area. I know you're trying to be sexy, but that just seems predatory. <laughs> I'll let you catch my predator. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Anything you want. Uh, where's everybody else? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Hey, Spud, I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find some beer. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here.
You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're before. not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So. They go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so... Who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Yeah, marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark, closer closer and he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams ah! <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross hey well, super twist nice <laughs> nice one squire you have me going pretty cool heavy on the cheese there corn dog okay You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. I think so. Get me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady.
fuckers want. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. with the blade. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. they have. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Drop it, 
Buster. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. about what you're doing, boy. Get to the boat. Get help. Go. This kid's trying to kill me also. Assholes out of here. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? It's not worse. You could have been killed. What were you thinking? This isn't just about you, Julia. We could have turned it around and we wouldn't be in this mess right now. All right! Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep... Quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Can you try anything? Anything fishy. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. 
Over. Dude, we read you. Everything okay? Over. under the bunk bed. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. 